friend. Beautiful friend. The end. Yo! Hello! It's Charlton. Alright, so I'm going to show you. I just want to do a little deeper dive on the... Uh, the double doors of Suite 135, 32, 135 Paddock Suite in the Mandalay Bay that I believe were cut. And I think uh, this illustrates that. And uh, so here it is. All right. So I'll be back. That was my idea. But I was surprised to learn how big of a trading partnership there is. That China is their biggest trading partner by far. 19% of their trade is done – of uh, Saudi's trade is done with China. I mean we only have 8% uh, of that. I was shocked to learn that. I had no idea. So I don't know. It just kind of jumped out at me because of what I've been thinking. But also in, in exporting, you know, and primarily that's oil. Um, it, their, their largest cha trading par partner is China by far too and it, it exceeds us pretty, pretty significantly. You know, 17% of what they export – uh, uh, goes to China, their largest trading partner, 10% um, to the United States. I just wanted to elaborate that on that very quickly. And so forth. But while I'm at it too, I will go quickly back to the store. And I'm not, I swear, I, I don't know if this is the last, I'll make as video, many videos as I want about it, but it's just, I mean, and I will listen. I will listen to people who want to, uh, uh, I will, if you can dispute what I'm saying, you know, but just stating broad concepts and making sort of large accusations without specifically saying where I'm wrong. And um, that's not going to do it. And stating, you know, this, the, the, the technical names for the, the, uh, the parts of a door, especially from one person whose stated profession is basically very related to this type of business. You know, when you won't specifically tell me what's besides just making a bland statement that it was cut at the factory – you know, that, that's not going to do it, dude. And I don't know what the motives of these people are because um, they're not stupid, but, um, but they're not proving anything, you know, because I don't know that you can. Listen, all right, so, you know, there, it doesn't really matter what's – this is a style. This is a rail. Both portions of the door, and they're all made differently. Everything is made – you know, any one item is made a, ten, a thousand different ways from different manufacturers. There's a million different types of doors, you know. So, um, but this is a style and this is a rail. But they're both they're both the same. Uh, they're both made exactly the same way, but just one is cut shorter than the other. And one runs the entire length of the door and runs vertically, and the other one doesn't run the entire width of the door and is, uh, you know, is horizontally. I mean, and, and every door that I you should have known this by now, but if this is the first time you're watching a video, I'm basically I'm I'm claiming I'm saying that this door was cut open before it was exploded, okay, and that they made a critical mistake somehow. Either they didn't put the tape close enough to this cu cu uh, cut, the explosive tape, to breach the door, or it just didn't. It just because it was already clearly cut. My guess is he. My guess is they just they just put it a little bit underneath it. And and we're just a little sloppy, you know. I mean, there's a lot going on here, at a, and there's only so much time. Um, just made a mistake, you know. It, but they, the plan was that this would get exploded and destroyed in the breach, and you would never see that it was actually cut. So my theory is that this, or what I'm claiming, is that this is cut this way, cut down this way, you know, this way up here, and even this is cut, even though you could see the particle wood or the whatever it's called, LSL or the MDF, you know, depending on what type of material this is made with. But this was cut specifically at an angle, not just this angle, but the angle, the way it was cut into the wood, because they knew that this wouldn't be, there was no, there was never going to be an explosive tape placed over the lock. And so it would have to look like it snapped and then it have to look like it wasn't cut. But this, they just screwed up, you know. So, but it's not as though this was uh, this was glued to another piece of wood, and it just broke apart. Glued in that, you know, cut piece of wood that was glued to another cut piece of wood. 
that and that was done at the man, manufacturer. That's that's just not possible based on how doors are manufactured. And first off, it's it's clearly particle wood. When you're looking at it, it's some kind of particle wood or you know, there's a thousand different names of it. Uh, manufactured, uh, whatever, medium, medium density, uh, what's it called then? Medium density fiberboard. And that's kind of more what it looks like. It doesn't look like it's this stuff, which is called, shoot, um, linear stranded lumber, this. Even though the, the video I'm going to show you on how a door is manufactured uses linear stranded lumber. It doesn't matter. It's not a solid piece of wood, basically. I mean, you can clearly see that, I think, from the photo. And, um, but even if it was, dude, even if it was, and it's not, because it, I can tell you right now, it's not because of this right here, you know, right there, where it exploded into, into many pieces, because it's like particle wood, you know, and that's not, that's not a solid piece of wood, you know, it just, it just, it just exploded. All right. So, um, but when, when you're looking at how a door, and by the way, you know, somebody asked about the, the duct tape and some people have said, I've said this in multiple videos, but if you never saw my videos before, you know, <clears throat> some people have said the door was cut in half by the FBI so they could take it away from evidence, uh, you know, and what's the duct tape for? Am I, I mean, here's the door. It's in one piece. If they'd cut it in half to take it away for evidence... There is, there is the cut right here. That is this cut right there, which, like I've said, it just so happens to be right above the, the lock, the deadbolt, so that you could basically push that, push that door uh, open, the top portion, and get in and out, bring things in and out of there without engaging or disengaging the deadbolt and, and having to turn the handle so that nobody would ever know from the lock report that anybody went in and out of that room other than Stephen Paddock. But there's the cut right there, okay? So if somebody saying they're saying they cut it in half to take it away from evidence, then that means they put the door back together for this crime scene photo. It's absurd. But back to uh, this right here. So the um, you know the way a, a door is, is is manufactured with the different parts, the styles of the vertical parts, the rails of the horizontal parts, and again, like I said, they're exactly the same thing. They're made with the exact same, same materials. It's just this one is cut shorter than this one, and this one runs up and down the length of the door, and this one sits horizontally in between the styles, and they fit in, into each other with a tiny little nub here, okay? But the seam would be here, not here, okay? And even if it was... Even if for some reason in every door that I looked at, the rails were cut short and the styles ran the entire length of the door. But let's just say for argument's sake that the rails didn't, did, were, were this door was manufactured different than every other door that I've seen where the rails are, you know, are cut here and say it went the entire length, the seam would be here, not up here, okay? That would mean, you know, the seam would be here, not there, okay? You know, but in reality, if this door is manufactured like most doors, the style, this style would go the length of the door. And the seam would be right here. So, um, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, I can, I'm going to show you. Like, uh, I mean, here's how the, a style and rails are made. And I'll jump around just so you can see. LSL for short is a piece of lumber made from glued wood fibers. A robot clamps the strips tightly to the LSL core. This assembly is engineered lumber. So, a glue spread. there it is right there. All right, so this is the LSL, the laminated, laminated, laminated strand lumber, you know, which is like, you see all the new track homes are manufactured with, it's junk wood. It's very cheap and uh, it's not strong at all, whatever. But it's just cheap. So, and that's what's in the middle. And this is actually a solid piece of wood. This is like the um, the fairing strip kind of what, it's not a fairing strip, but it's similar to it, like a one by two that I was talking about before. I don't even think that this, this these styles in this store are fabricated this way. You know, I think they're just, uh, I don't exactly know, but I do think, I mean, it's definitely, it's more like this type of material, this uh, medium density fiberboard. You know, it, it looks like it's more uh, sort of grainy than the linear stranded lumber. 
you know, more like that, not exactly like that, but whatever. And you can see that, sh that stuff throughout the room. I mean, that's what this stuff is. It's this like this powdery stuff after it's been exploded apart. And I see the, uh, you know, there's a strip of wood here and there's just some strip. I mean, it's not wood. It's, it's, you know, fabricated wood, whatever it is, you know, the MDF or the L LSL. I don't know. But either way, you know, just look at, you know, this is not a, a pre-cut piece of wood. It's actually fiber board or fiber, you know, particle wood, particle board. And it's, it wasn't pre-cut. You don't, you don't, you, the, the styles are not made of, I'm, I'm hopefully I'm not losing this, but I'm not. I mean, the styles are not made of strips of, of particle wood. There's just one solid core. I mean, that would be insane. Imagine, imagine tiny little two inch strips of particle wood. Particle wood, you literally could just almost snap it in half. It's, it's, it's useless. All right. So, um, you know, but either, I mean, like here's, I mean, this is, that just shows you right there. It exploded into pieces and here they probably put it, they probably put the explosive tape over, over top of, I don't know if they cut all the way down the door. I, you know, I mean, that, that looks like a cut. It does, but I have no idea. I just don't know. I mean, but you can see it's particle wood there, too. So, um, and that's, uh, that's what I'm saying. Here, I, I want to finish just so you see. There it is again. All right. And there you see it right there. I mean, that's, 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 the, that's the style or the rail. They're both the same thing. And they're cut, you know, at various lengths to, to serve their purpose. Medium density fiber board, a man made material with a smooth, paint friendly surface. They've also drilled holes, middle rail, another panel. All right, so there it is. You know, there it is. I mean, this is the, the style. This is the. <coughs> um, Uh, the, the rail and actually it looks like there's two different you know two different sections to this brought together all right but for this for this up here you know th there's only one of those you can't have you can you know so that's not a juncture that was just split in, in in half in my opinion it was cut and also uh you know just to show you the completion of this where they put the other style on a top rail then the second style See, and here's, you know, here it goes the full length of of the door. So, I mean, you know, here's the style, the full length, here's the rail, and each one, you know, uh, is cut short. So the style goes, the, 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 the rails do not go the entire length. The seam would be here. The seam, the seam would be here, which makes sense, you know. I mean, why would... Why would it why would it be cut short here and you'd have a style that goes this full length here but is only half you know smaller here and and, and <clears throat> structurally it just makes sense for the style to go the full length and which would mean this the, the seam would be uh, would be right there and I'll tell you you know <clears throat> it's hard to catch but if you look at it closely and you uh, you measure it, this is actually not a perfectly uniform piece of you know particle wood okay? It's actually it's actually smaller here. It's it's thinner from here to here than it is from here to here because the cut does ever so slightly angle upward. You know, it's 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 there. Okay. All right, and uh, just want, just a few notes. That's uh that's the story there, dude. Hopefully, uh, that was good enough. That wasn't that great, but that's that's life. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And if I'm not, I'm not. And I don't think I am. I think I'm right. And that's the story there. All right, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. You know what? Yeah, give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man. I'm back.